Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and welcome back to Keep or Cull where we play our whole collection of 600 plus 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 games and decide whether to keep or cull them. That is what we do if this is your first time here or if you are not subscribing to this channel you can do so now by clicking the subscribe button. It's free and it's fun and it makes you see more videos like this and other videos about board games because Yay, that's, that's what, what we, do. we do. So welcome. Obviously. Welcome to our channel. Hello. So this is the second to last Keeper Color video this year. It's been a long year of keeping on culling games and playing other games and doing board game stuff and other stuff. So before we go into these, this is going to be the last like pure spiel episode yes. six games today we also have a few more spiel games that we we haven't gotten to yet but those we're gonna just do because i'm ready to go back and play some other older games oh as yeah well. we're looking at the shelf now being like pumped yes to play some all the good shelves good games. And, and play some less good games yes. because we need to call some as well yes we so need to. <laughs> they're gonna be like just intertwined between that they lost the spiel games yes and a couple of like nice things that's gonna happen for the rest of the year for board gaming ramblings obviously this is not keeper call but top 20 top 10 coming next two weeks hope you're looking forward to that so keeper call yes yeah, gonna excited. be amazing keeper call wise we're gonna have one more episode that's gonna be a very special episode because it's gonna be live live and kicking, kicking. Yeah. Yay. We're not going to do so much kicking, but we're going to do keeping and culling. And keeping so and the culling. next three weeks, the games we play, those are going to be in the live video. That's going to be, I'm pretty sure, I see last week of the year. You will see it when we put it on the channel. Save the date. Yes, be even there. though you don't know the date square. yet. square. Or be culled. Or be culled. No, you can still be, in. that was kind of your, your oh, kind yeah, of joke. Yeah. But you can still be on the channel, even though we don't see it live. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to do like a year in review video. Yes. Also the last week of the year. Uh, it's going to be like... Like looking back at the year for this channel, but also going to be a lot of the about Keeper Call, both yes. what happened and what's going to happen next year. Because as you might have seen, we're not done with Keeper Call, so that it's going to kind of change a little bit, but it's going to stay almost the same as it is. Yes. So, with all of that boring stuff about other videos that's not this video, let's get to this video. Yes. Let's do some games. Da -da -da. Castle party. Castle party. This is a roll and write game. Yes. One of the many. Are you ready? Yes. It's actually not a roll and write. It's a flip play, and a write. Play, play cards, cards and write. It's and a write and write game. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. This was fine. Yes. But nothing special. Yes. There we have very many of these types of games. Yes. I don't need this, but I thought it was fun. Like uh, you're playing cards to make a shape, and then you put it in like a tetromino style shape into mm -hmm. your castle, and you try to make groups of different monsters to get points, basically. Yeah, I enjoyed that mechanism of you flip a shape, and yeah. then you play cards to it, so that yeah. you. Together the group decides what everybody has to write. Yes. I enjoyed that part. That was yeah. unique. So if you're a fan of these roll and games, and we are beginning to be more fans than yes. I thought we were, yeah. but this was unique, but I it, it didn't wow me basically. So I don't think I will play it again. Yeah, I so agree. So that's why we both agree on it being called. Which, which my my is part called. is calling. My my side is the call side. Then let's talk about Amelia's Secret. This was on our top twenty anticipated games of Spiel. Yes. Before we knew anything about it, other than it was an escape room game. So let's see what we thought about this one. Yes. One, two, three, boom, burn it. <laughs> with fire. Yeah, it's hard to Please. burn something with not fire. But I agree, like this, they have, like basically this is a do at home escape room game. You have yeah. to put all this, it's not a game, it's not a board game at all. And there's no board game stuff in this game. It's actually a board. There is a board, <laughs> kind of. Just so like basically you have board. these uh, cards that you have to like this one. A jewelry box. Place the marker on a table or a piece of furniture. Uh, you place this somewhere and you place everything else. You have to have like 16 doors because all of the things want to be on doors. And I don't know why. Because the clock. This could be on not a door. Place but... the marker on a door. It could have been on the a wall. wall. It, okay. I don't know why. But, okay. uh, but that's another thing. The people who made this might not have been that good in English. And they have not gotten anybody who knows English to... No, they're so cute. They're reading... Like they're saying things aloud in English, and I'm just like, wait, is that the English word? But but overall, I think their English is pretty good. Actually, oh, yeah, it's like no we, better we, we, than mine. No, but no, I no. wouldn't do this for I'm, my work, though. I would not make a story in English without having anybody who knows English to check if the sentences are sentences. They might have done that, but yeah. I hope not, because then they need another person to do that. But that's not <laughs> the problem of the game. So. You put this around and then you have an app and then it's basically... I love the idea. Yeah. It's a do-it-at-home yes. escape room. 
So is it fun? No, but, but like you point the, the iPad towards it and uh -huh. then you see something in it's an AR, AR. Yeah, it's not just this. And, and, yeah, and then you, for example, see this jewelry box or the clock. now it's a clock. Yeah, and, and you interact with that clock uh -huh. and you get hints. Maybe it's a puzzle there and you try to solve it. And it wasn't fun. And the AR suddenly, like we saw, like a, 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 a table side yeah, like small bed table, yeah. or something. A table side and bed. A small table. Yes. <laughs> it's a bed you have bed beside your table. table. Yes. So sorry. And then we saw like upside see that. down, and we yes. couldn't see on top of it. And that's where the stuff was. I was just like. Yes, and many of them had yeah. like, place it one meter and 50 centimeters, and you did that, and then you put the air on it, and it was floating, floating 40 centimeters air. off the air. So I was like, why is this not, if I put it, is everything just wrong? But so, I would, I would, I would forgive that if the, the puzzles were super great, mm -hmm. like even great, I would forgive it, but it was mediocre. Yeah, and I wouldn't really, and because the whole doesn't point. It cut it. The whole point is basically to feel like you are like it's an immersive game. It wasn't. <laughs> so basically there's no reason to play this over playing, for example, the Cube Escape games from Rusty Lake. If you haven't played that, like this is basically a very bad point and click game. Yeah, I would Because rather... it is a point and click game. You click and then you get maybe some information, you go somewhere else, you click and you can input something. Oh, it was correct. You got an item now, which makes no sense why that item would come from this piece. But you found an item now. Or maybe you get a letter if you're very lucky. And it's bad. It's very bad. Yeah. Burn it with fire. Burn it's it with cold. This fire. is this is the longest review we've done on Keeper Call, but it, it was because Okay, it was... so next up we have twenty eight. I think it's called like Lisbon Tram yeah, twenty eight, so. but I yeah. don't it know. It doesn't say that. It doesn't on the say box. on the box, so it's, it's only just called twenty eight. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. This was fine. Uh -huh. It was like a, a pick up then deliver game kinda. Yes. Uh, you have space for some uh, meeples on your tram mm -hmm. and you're driving around and you have to spend cards mm -hmm. like tickets in some colors to move around and also to pick up the people and uh, then you try to deliver them to get points and it was a fun and yeah. nice take on those mechanisms but I will not miss it in my life. I wouldn't be like sad to play it again. I, I liked the game, mm -hmm. I just didn't like it enough. I felt like it was kind of a simpler, less interesting version without being the same at all version of On the Underground, oh, which yeah. is a really neat Definitely game in that some category. Similarities. Kind of a mix between that and Ticket to Ride with the tickets and stuff. It, it's mm. a neat little light game. It has this super gimmick with a clock that you can oh, yeah. ring. I like that a lot, a little bell, but um. It's a fine game. Like if I would rate it, like maybe I'm five point five or a six. Yeah. It's a mm. good game, but it's not one I'm gonna miss. Yes, I agree. Which is kind of the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, so another game is this one called Gorinto. That is another game. It is you not the correct. same one. It is a abstract game, and now we're gonna see if we keep or call it. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. It's a colorama today. It's a colorama. Yeah. I, 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 this is basically the same. I liked it. Yes. It's a nice take on the abstract uh, genre. Yeah. I didn't like it enough. Yes. I, I think it has some cool things going for it. Mm -hmm. uh, you have different color pieces that you want to like put on top of other pieces so that for that specific color, let's say it's blue, that has a specific rule for which tiles I can take. And if I have a lot of blue tiles from before, then I can get more tiles and you want to score points. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a fine game. I yes. enjoyed it. I There's many other abstract games. And every time I say that, people are like, what other abstract games? Like, for two players, obviously, all the Gips games, but for more players, what other apps of games are you playing now for more Savannah players? Savannah Park we played recently. Yeah. We only played that two player though. We yes. played this three player. Yes. I thought this was a abstract game that works well with multiple player, yeah. with more players. Yeah. More people, persons. And uh, some of you might have heard of uh, Baroon Wudo or what it's called. Yes. Um, and I thought this was a more fun mm. and multiplayer. Uh, abstract puzzle than Varun Wudo was. If you have heard of that, <laughs> Very good for you. If you haven't, this makes no sense about. to you. It, it, it was a fine game. I'm not yes. gonna miss it. I'm not gonna choose to play it again. Yes. And you see, like, it's so much easier to get rid of new games, new games yeah. because they've never been in a collection. Yes. So it's like they're never 
been there. That's a, that's a bias that is hard to get rid of. Yes, almost impossible. Then we have squaring. Circle whale. Which might be the funnest theme yes, of ever. the coolest theme. Like, look into this. It's a real place called Circle Whale in Ohio, I'm pretty sure. And people were not happy about it being a circle. Like, it, it made no sense. And then practical. they made the most awesome. They made the Circle Whale Squaring Company. Which might be the most awesome thing, name thing ever. Yeah, the, like the job was just to make the city square. Yes. And that's what you're doing in this game. You have, yeah, they, they had to basically destroy all the buildings and then build them again and see what happens. Yes. So, yes, it's this game is good. Uh, Spielworks. So, Spielworks kind of like an up and down thing with us, but they always make interesting game. Yeah. So, let's see what we think about Squaring Circle Wheel. That's yes. the point of the video. One, two, three, boom. First keeper. Keeper. We're very, very agree agreeing today. Agree um, you are agreeing. We are agreeing. We are Everybody agreeing. is agreeing. Everybody is agreeing. I thought uh, the game was fun too. Yes. Not just the theme. Um, of course, having an awesome theme always helps. But I think this. Does it? Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. This is a topical ramblings uh, video in itself. But I thought like the actions you do uh, are fitting very well with yes. the theme. Like your first, your what do you call it like uh, demolishing demolishing the everything yes. and then you're building things up again yes. and it's basically all the way in its purest form almost uh, and a real majority uh, mm -hmm. game so it's a real majority to take away everything first and then the person who has done most of that get points yeah. and then you want to build everything up again and then it's a much bigger area and then you get points for being the Done most the most there. Sense, yes. The most there. Yeah. Done and there's the most some final scoring as well. And I think like the the way that you choose what you're going to do yeah. is really cool. It's kind of a it is a rundown. Yeah, absolutely. And then like uh, the way that you get your action to be better, like the, the um, some some tiles that you take. Yes. Uh, every move you make. Every um, every tile you take, I'll be watching you. Uh, that is cool too. Yeah, so and, I, and also what you like in this game. And it also has one of my favorite mechanisms, which is make your own kind of scoring. Yes. Where you grab scoring tiles and try to do it for other players so that you will get that scoring tile that you really wanted to, to get. Yes. So there's uh, the Ronda, everything here is really nice. I thought in the beginning of the game, it felt kind of like not that interesting and then it became more and more interesting the more the longer into the game you got yeah so this one i really want to play again so next year for keeper call uh, <laughs> yeah last game today is a game you already have seen on the channel so instead of making like a full final thoughts review thing this is Ark Nova. We have played it more now. After, it's so big. We have played it's it more big. now after our first impressions, which were kind of lukewarm. And uh, not Luke from Broken Meeple Warm, but like lukewarm, like oh, not he's that. He's very Luke. He's very lukewarm <laughs> about me. He's both Luke and Luke. And Luke, that Luke. is true. Are you ready? Yes. Let's talk about this. What are you doing? Are you ready now? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. All the first disagreements. And the only well, one because there's the last game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Have your thoughts changed about this game? It has changed. It has changed. I don't think it has changed as much as you because I think Obviously, maybe... Obviously, because I have Caution Keep. Yeah, uh, I I don't think like I would have kept it the first time we played it. Nope. That I mean, was the initial yeah. uh, thought I had. I like it better now. Yes. But it's still some things that hold me back with this game. Uh, there's some things that I really appreciate. Like the, the cards that you choose your actions with. The queue system I really yeah. like. Uh, also like um, how, how you're planning in your head mm. to to get the right bonuses at the right time as you can utilize your actions yep. i think like the timing with other players when people are, are like triggering triggering a break which gives you money but also yep. takes away some cards if you have exceeded the hand limit it's really cool uh, but there are some things that i don't like but what do you like about this game so, so you don't want to talk about what you don't like? Well, I thought I was going to do it, but I've been talking for a long time. Oh, you want I me to talk? I'm not, I, don't, I don't think that's I'm just often, gonna breathe a little. I don't think that's often a problem in these videos, yeah. that you talk too much. That's not. <laughs> people are gonna not... Never has happened, people say like, Chinua is speaking too much in these videos. No, not yet. <laughs> that's good, yeah, you're taking over that's the my channel. That's no. uh, Yeah, maybe in the videos where you were alone, I, w I wasn't speaking at all in those. I didn't get any comments there. No, it's true, you speak too much. Okay, Be so. silent, <laughs> just sit there. <laughs> Nova. Uh, I thought it was fine the first time we played it, but it was very long. And 
I think we have taken off like an hour on the playtime. Yeah. So now it's like two hours, one hour, 45 minutes, which is fine. I would still like it to be one hour, 30 minutes with two players. And I would not want to play it with more than two players because there's not that much interaction. You do most of the things by yourself. Like we are comparing this to Terraforming Mars because it has a lot of similarities yes. to Terraforming mm -hmm. Mars. Uh, and there's, we, we spoke quite lengthy about this after our last play of this now, mm -hmm. about there is way more interaction in terraforming mars yeah. um about like the drafting the the milestones the achievements the board like there's so many points of interaction and that's not a huge thing for me interaction is not important but i'm having a lot of fun when i'm playing this now and i am enjoying quite a bit of the mechanism like everything you said i just i think i just enjoy it more than you yeah like I I think now, right now, I would rather play this than Terraforming Mars. No, but yeah, that the is polar opposite. Probably yeah. because I played Terraforming Mars almost 20 times and I played mm -hmm. this um, four times or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. So it's it's a game I still want to I still want to explore it. I I like that the different maps are different enough. They're not like extremely different, no, but they're, they're different enough. Uh, the special abilities make you play a bit differently. The the goals you get, which might be the thing we don't like the least with the, with the randomness of those. Other than that, there's not that much luck. More more luck than in Terraform. Yeah, yeah, because we thought about we, we talked about this. Like, yeah. how is this? Uh, because I I some of the things that I don't like in this game is the randomness with the cards. Yeah. Uh, and I think like I make many tactical decisions uh, on how to play the game yeah. depending on what cards I get oh, and yeah. what animal. I get and I think like okay so I thought why do I like it less here than in Terraforming Mars mm -hmm. because it this is a long game yes. and that is Terraforming Mars 2 and in such long games we have tended to be like oh but it's it's too much luck for that kind of yes, game you yep. know and and the reason for that is basically what you said. There's so many things with the interaction in Terraforming Mars that makes me like um, excited for it, mm -hmm. and I I don't have that kind of things here. And also like the the, the goal scoring cards that you can be very lucky with. In my opinion, I am not a fan of that. So as so I I I don't like it that much. I think it's okay, but yeah, I think it's really good. I think the as I said, it's not that much interaction, which I don't really mind. I like the engine building. I like the, like there's, as I said to you, basically, there's more different mechanisms to enjoy here for me than Terraforming Mars. Mm. Terraforming Mars, you have that. I get cards, I play cards, I build up the engine. Here you have that. You also have the manipulation of the action cards. You have that. You build your own kind of uh, as zoo. Uh, where you have to plan, basically, depending on how you play, you could ch oh, I can never play that kind of animal now because I have not, I don't have space for that because I played, I played, I, I built wrongly and, and you have to think more about how you build and the things you build on the board. There's just very many things I do enjoy about this game. I would have liked it to be a bit shorter still, but I, I, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I think this was almost going to be. This was almost final thoughts. Yeah, this it was. video is like keeper call slash review channel. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we are keeping it. If that's okay with you. Uh, I have uh, no objections. It's fine. Objection? No, it's. it's... <laughs> so yeah, those are six more games. Those were the last kind of like action special thingy. So. Um, like best experience and worst experience what do you uh, think i think maybe art nova now because i'm i've changed how much like I, I, almost like 180 degrees on what i think about the game mm. and worst is burn it with fire burn it with fire yeah definitely i had a lot of fun playing square in circle wheel yeah so uh, and also art nova i think is a fun game so i i had fun while i played it yes uh also i actually like these two a lot so yeah. Like, I had a lot of fun playing, like, in general. And Burn It With Fire. Burn It With Fire was, yeah, burn, the, yeah, the of course. The least favorite. So, yes. whew, there's still, we just broke, like, 300 games played for Keep or Cow. We just actually updated our collection on Board Game Geeks, oh, yeah. if you want to go and check that out. There's, like, 660 games, which means we still have 660 games to play. <laughs> like, and we have played 300 or something. So that means that we're almost, there's almost a thousand games we're going to get through, and not yeah. the 600 that we thought. Yes. Like, so, are you surprised? No, but it's no. just like so many games and they so keep on coming. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that is the end. If you are still here and you didn't subscribe at the beginning of the video because you were like, oh, I want to see what this is like, you can do it now by... 
clicking the subscribe button. It's free and it's fun for everyone. If you want to do something that's not free, you can go to Board Gaming Ramblings. You cannot. You can go to <laughs> patreon.com slash Board Gaming Ramblings and support us there. Yes. And that's the end of the video. Hope to see you next week for the top 20 to 11 of 2021. I'm super excited. Yay. So see you there. And then we're going to do the live keep or kill at the end of the year. And that's the end of the video. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye bye.